So what's happening here? We have a situation and it's not good. And while there is maybe a silver lining, I'll get to that after I tell you the bad news. The bad news is that my hive is being robbed out by bees from some other colony. Some larger variety, you can see on the landing board there, there's some much bigger, darker colored bees landing on there and crawling in. They don't look like my bees. They are much bigger and they have different markings on them. They got darker stripes, less yellow. And what they're doing is they are going into my hive, probably being battled by my guard bees, but uh, they're stealing my honey. Instead of going out and getting their own nectar and making their own honey, they are just stealing stealing all the honey that my bees have been working so hard to make. And uh, there are some bees underneath on the ground, dead, dying, both from my colony and from the robbers. Because there's been battle happening. There's battle happening just inside that doorway. And some of my bees are winning and some of my bees are losing. And you can tell when you see them crawling on other parts of the hive, they are robber bees. They don't know where the entrance is necessarily. They're just following their nose. So when they're crawling around looking for other ways in, there are no other ways in. There's just the one way in, but they don't know that because they don't live here. So they're looking for a back door, a side door, any place they can squeeze through and get in so they can steal honey and take it back to their hive. Now, the silver lining in that is that it tells me that my bees have been more productive than these other ones. These other ones are just bullies and they're here to loot. Something we've seen plenty of on TV this last week, looting, taking stuff for free that you didn't work for. That's what's happening in my hive, sadly. And the solution, hopefully, is gonna be something called a robber screen, which I'll either have to make or buy or something, but it's gonna have to happen pretty quick. There is the possibility that these robber bees could kill my queen and uh, that's a big upset, a huge setback. So I'll keep you updated, but all that frenzy in front of the hive, it's not all my bees. It's probably 90% my bees and 10% robbers trying to get in there and steal, steal the honey that they've been working so hard to make. <laughs>
So what we're looking at here is two of the bees that are dying under my hive. And this one on the right, is that a robber bee? Or is that, in fact, just a drone from my own hive? The size difference is substantial. Look how much bigger that one is to, than mine. And it's got a little different markings. I don't expect the drones to be that much larger. They are supposed to be bigger, but this surprises me. So this screen here that I've created is going to give me a couple of opportunities. One, it's going to block out any robber bees and allow my bees to come and go. And I'll explain that in a moment. But two, it's also going to give me the observe, the ability to observe what kind of bees are coming out of my hive in the morning. And if these kinds of bees are coming out of my hive, well, then they are my drones and they belong to my colony. But anyways, we'll shake them off there. They are dying and we'll leave them to it. Now, explaining here how this screen works. This is what's called a robber screen, which I just made here. And uh, it will cover the entrance of the hive. And in a little while here, you'll see me attaching it. Uh, I'll wait till after dark to attach it. But the way that it works is that that blocks the entrance completely. So the bees coming out can't get out because there's a screen in the way. And any robber bees can't get in. Now, there's three holes you'll see there on the top edge. And that is where my bees will find their way out. But right here along the bottom where I'm pointing, that's where any robber bees are going to be gathered trying to get in because they can smell honey and that's what they're looking for. They'll congregate there looking for entrance and in theory they will fail to find entrance and my bees will find their way out. And because they can find their way out, they will inevitably eventually find their way back in. In theory, I've never used one of these. It's the first time I've made one. No guarantees that I've made it the best way. I don't know. I have zero experience with this and um, we're gonna attach it and find out what happens. So uh, if nothing else, it'll give us a good opportunity to observe my colony crawling around on the inside of the screen in the morning and I can see the different sizes and types of bees that I have. And um, well, we'll learn something, so. That's what it's all about. Knowledge is power. We'll see what happens. So here we are next morning watching the bees and they are looking for a way out and not doing a very good job of finding their way. I may have to modify this frame a little bit, but also what we're doing here is looking at what I have inside my colony. It's a good way to observe what my bees look like. I'm kind of trapping them behind a screen there and uh, gives us a little bit of a view into their colony. So we're waiting to see if any of them find the holes up there. And, um, wait a second, what is this? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, that's good news. Okay. It looks like those large bees are in fact drones from my hive, because there's one. I'll wait a few minutes to see if there's a second or a third, but, um, there, problem solved. I don't have robber bees, I don't think. I just have very large drones. And uh, so we've learned something here. This is good news. And uh, maybe I made this screen for nothing, but um, we got education out of it. And uh, that's, that's important. So I will remove the screen here in a few minutes and uh, let them get about their business. So these girls are anxious to get out and pollinate. 
But look under here. All of those dead bees from yesterday. There were so many of them. This is really fed into my theory about the robber bees. And they were so aggressive and strange when they came in, but now I'm realizing it's just like the video I did last week with the drones going out on mating flights and they come back and they die. I'm just amazed at how many of them that there are. There's probably 50 of them down there. And uh, maybe I'll gather them up and get a count, but absolutely uh, well, bewildering. But I'm getting knowledge every day on this stuff here. And uh, there was a lot of bees here a moment ago, but as soon as I took that screen off, they all headed out. So they all kind of left with the same starting gun. And we'll be back in a little while. Here goes one. Life is back to normal for my honeybees. And the ladies are getting back to work. Thank you for watching. As always, be safe, be kind, and be happy.